is up guys? Boldy here. Welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we took on the Paralog for Rhea. Um, and... That went... We are just about to pass worse than I thought it would. <laughs> we should be in view of Fort Mercius soon. We're moving on. We're taking on the mission today. And the whole skip thing, I have two saves. So, I did things... I'm gonna reset and load the save that got past this. I didn't anticipate this while well, I wasn't recording. It looks like the battle made quite an impact. So, oh, speaking of all of this, um, the comments uh two episodes ago. I keep forgetting. Why well, I recorded the the Petra Bernadetta before reading those. Um, but something I didn't notice that you guys pointed out. There's a whole month that they skipped. So the Grander Field thing was the month was last month. The month prior was our last chapter. We just skipped this whole month with Grander, Grander Field and just do nothing. And now I guess we're gonna learn. I don't. I don't know. This chapter story wise has been kind of a mess. <laughs> the Imperial Army has lost some of its luster. We should be able to invade the fort without too much trouble. Um. True. Yes. After a Maybe. few short months, they will already be back on their feet. We cannot waste this opportunity. Professor, the soldiers have finished changing into their disguises. We are ready to masquerade as Imperial troops and infiltrate the fort. Yeah, this whole masquerade thing in the Golden Deer route, you actually talk about it. I really mention it. It's not like super in depth. I, re I remember it being kind of weirdly done, weirdly executed. But here, they completely jump the gun, and the monastery people are the ones telling you about this plan before you get here, or the story tells you about the plan. And it's Ferdinand's plan in this route? Of all people, disguises. I believe this was your idea, was it not? No! We didn't say anything! It is impossible to take Fort Mercius with a frontal assault. We must take it from within. We will infiltrate the fort as Imperial troops and kill the enemy general. All preparations are complete. According to the scout reports, my father and the others are not inside the fort. It seems they were moved to the front lines of the kingdom's western region. The Death Knight became the general of this fort after the battle at Grander Field. Who are you? <laughs> I was like, we haven't killed anyone. I was like, are you? Hi. What? The Death Knight? I think I'll be taking a break now. You guys go on ahead. Bernadetta, you cannot be hiding on a field. The enemy will be seeing you. No place to hide. I guess I have no choice but to fight. The Death Knight. I hear that he is counted among the greatest heroes of the Empire at the moment. That'll be an interesting boss to take out with our units. <laughs> I I don't know. We'll have to we'll have a look see. It's been a while since our rematch. Uh might be a problem. We never determined whether or not he was truly Yuritsa. Well you can rest assured he was. Said so in he capturing is. Mercius, we have encountered another obstacle. Uh, we've beaten him before. Also true. I suppose you have a point. If we challenge him again with conviction, we are sure to attain victory. The impenetrable fortress city of Aryan Road goes by the name Silver Maiden. Yet she pales in comparison to Fort Mercius, the stubborn old general. Those who approach are driven back, but once we make our way in, it's all ours. That fort has been brought to life on stage for countless operas. Let us commence. We must puncture a hole in the Empire's defenses. That man approaches. Will Death's scythe claim you? Or will I fall to that sword of yours? Okay. And that's the... Alright, so... We'll do a quick reset, continue, pop in here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
Also, it's also interesting seeing this from the Black Eagle's side, technically. Um, because every other time we fought this map, uh, we would be fighting Kaspar and Linhart as enemies here. At least I'm pretty sure that happened... Yeah, because this is the third time we've done this. The first time, Golden Deer. Second time was Blue Lions. But I think I only noticed it, like, almost toward the end of the map. Because it started in a different direction. <laughs> um, okay, I believe I've done everything that I need to do. Thank you, Bort Mercius. Suggested 35. Uh, the last thing we did, I think, was 36. So, or maybe, maybe it was also 35. I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Bort Mercius, said to be impregnable, lies between you and Enbar, the Imperial capital. Seizing the sturdy fortress will require a carefully devised strategy. I don't really know who is best equipped to take on the Death Knight. The best loading screen. At Grandeur Field, the armies of the Kingdom, Alliance, and Empire collide. The three forces engage in a fierce battle, each suffering significant losses before deciding to withdraw. Seeing an opportunity, the Resistance Army quickly plots an invasion of Imperial territory. In order to gain a foothold in the Empire, they will attempt to capture Fort Mercius. Okay, so... We're starting... Ah, okay, so it's gonna be the Golden Deer setup of this map. Not the Blue Line setup. Um, how many units? 10. Okay. <clears throat> now, the Golden Deer version, you can rush Lysithia in and be done with this map real quick. We don't have Dark Spikes. Uh, <laughs> however, I believe... Hold on, let me look at Seteth. I think I just got A rank in Lances. Yes. Um, which also gave him Swift Strikes, the combat art, which is a brave, it's a double tap. It's a brave hit, real nice. Um, but being A rank in Lances, he should be able to bring out the Spear of Assault. Yes. How much strength do you have? 33. Seteth, Swift Strike, Spear of Assault is probably going to be our best bet. But also, do you have... You don't have anything preventing effectiveness, right? Nullifies death effects, status effects, greatly reduces gambits, counterattack, mastermind, poison strike. Yeah. I think Seteth with the Spear of Assault is going to be our best bet. Um, is there anything else I need to... Like, Aurora Shield? Ooh, I want... Yeah, Aurora Shield we do need. That is in this chest. I want that before we leave. Um, the southeastern chest. This one is a speed wing. Also very good. Uh, there's an evasion ring that's dropped by an enemy sword master. I think we have spare evasion rings. Like, evasion rings are, are very nice. But I think we, we still have some spare ones that we're not even using. Uh, we have one that we're not using. So another one's not gonna do much for me. A Brave Axe, dropped by the enemy warrior. Enemy warrior. Oh. Let's have a look, see, is it you? No, it's a sword master. <laughs> uh, zooming through. Um, oh, way over here? No way I'm getting over there. Of course, Dark Seal went by the Death Knight. Okay. Well, I think with those things in mind, we're gonna see how quickly we can do this. Um, between stride, dancing, just all the above. Okay. I think Report. we're A group okay. posing as Imperial soldiers has infiltrated. They seem to be affiliated with the church. 
Close the gates. Leave no survivors. Reinforcements will appear from all sides of the forges. If you move one of your units to the space where enemy reinforcements enter the battlefield, you can stop them from appearing there. Um, yes. But this is the enemy commander, and that is what we're going to try to do. I know at a certain point, he's going to want to run. Um, so actually... Uh, it's you, right? Yeah. Um... Sunshine. Can you one-shot? <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna need to not one turn, especially if I want these chests. I'm in. Okay. Ready and able. Actually, let's see. Eight movement, seven. All right. So we're gonna open this chest with happy. Captain is the one with stride. Finally has the authority to use nice uh, battalions. I think which direction where I would want people. I would like Constance to move, probably. We have three people with warp. Well, we have two with warp, one with rescue. Um... Let's clean up. Oh, yeah. Probably. So sorry. Let's see, is it you that's gonna? Yeah. You're gonna want to run up. What's my strategy? God, I fucking love this song. the main issue huh? say issue I don't know that there is necessarily gonna be much of an issue uh, I mean our issue is probably going to end up being damage okay so this is the formation I want yes yes hi how are you Like, and if you hit that, okay, I was like, if you hit that, I'm gonna be very upset. Gambit on Sete. Yes. Here we go. So, Eloise cannot reach that even without the Swordmaster being there. Um, Constance just. Curiosity. Are you covering the entire staircase? No. Uh, but what's your movement? Ten? Uh, probably gonna go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. <laughs> How far do you go? Ooh, okay. Well, in that case, Guide okay. Me well. Here's how I think I want to do this. Go there. Dan. There's then... no stopping me. Let's see, how much magic? You have 24 magic, you have 29 magic. So you warp further. We're gonna warp Constance up there. I take nothing for granted. I like that. Okay, and then Constance. 
move around here. Now, of course, if we can't player phase this, um, Seteth is not set up to enemy phase this whatsoever. Um, oh, he's dead. Swift strikes, baby. Okay! <laughs> let's fucking go. Um, so, let's go ahead and assist warp Eloise. Right there. I gave him Freikugel, by the way, but I don't have the Crest of Goneril. I gotta buy that in the monastery for this next month. But we run up here. Roll a shield. Alright. Um, beyond that... What experience do we want? What do you have in your inventory? Can I kill you and take whatever that is by chance? An evasion ring? I mean, I talked about how I don't really need it, but it is right in front of me, <laughs> right? Okay, that accuracy, pretty bad. Uh, Byleth's the only one who can really re- Well, okay, are you one tile? You're two tile. Uh, and you have, you swap your there's a smite so magic wise you're probably not fast enough to kill um you would have to crit and that hit rate i mean i'll try it and then i'll undo and then i'll try swapping and then melee but <laughs> We did actually hit it. Surprisingly enough. Oh, Let's clean up. All right. So we go all the way in here. Um, Vajra Mushti. We would have to crit one of the hits to to kill. Because he eviscerates. I think two chances for 20%. Yeah. Uh, and she just gets fucking bodied. Alright, well, uh, it doesn't look like we're getting that. Even... Let's see. Let's, can we get that chest? Because a swap wouldn't do it. Like, the smite's kind of needed. What's my strategy? So, let's just... I'm in. Let's just get some experience where we can. Yuri, to die, huh? to kill that guy. Let's clean up. Shamir, Sajite, crits it would. Vajra, Mushti, uh, Seal Gauntlet, quads. Not enough. So let's go with Sajite. Fourteen percent chance. That's fine. I must lead them. Finish the job. Hit thirty-eight. I'll use this power for the greater good. More magic, whatever. Dex. Come out here for moral support. Guide me well. All right, Seteth. Combat art. Swift strikes, spear of us all. You will not escape, Death Knight. Today you will be unmasked. Oh, and there's—I didn't even think there's dialogue too. How perfect is that? I figured we didn't have anyone with dialogue, or that would have dialogue with him. My true identity has no value. I will be the judge of that once I've seen your face. Before I miss an 82. <laughs> If you desire to see fucking crit out. <laughs> the appointed hour is at hand. I, 
like that. Especially because a little fourth wall break. I'm recording this at fucking 5:30 in the morning. We've come this far. <laughs> we cannot let him escape now. Everyone, after the death night. Nice and easy. Hell yes. It is coming. <laughs> Leave now, or all of you will die. The Spears of Light make a return. Well, I mean, I get they they were in Crimson Flower, just in the background. Make return on the screen. <laughs> okay, hold on. What uh, what are we gonna say about that? I really like that cutscene though. He just fucking runs what down the been? wall. Good old Death Knight. It was almost reminiscent of that terror of legend. What legend? We haven't the time for stories. Well, why'd you bring it up? All we can do is retreat to the Great Bridge of Murden and assess our situation. <sighs> well now, that marching was nearly as trying as the battle itself. Yep, it was a super trying battle, you're right. We wasted a few days, but now that we're this far back, we should be safe. Or so I believe. I still can't believe it. The fort was destroyed just like that. The Death Knight knew about the attack. Was it the Empire's doing? I know they're all like super distraught, but I'm just kind of like... These are... Th these, this is our class, essentially. We're using all the teacher, all the staff. I just... I'm just happy they're getting more like story screen time. <laughs> Guess that means they'd rather destroy the fort than lose it. <sighs> Whatever the case, we need to get our bearings and decide what we're going to do next. We all have many questions, but for now we must focus on our next move. <laughs> let's give up. Let's attack the Imperial Capital. Let's return to the monastery. Imperial Capital. I wish for that as well, but we are sure to fall if we charge in without a plan. Hey. That's fine. We'll think on our way. Hmm. By the look on your face, I have the feeling you are working out a plan even now. Sure. <laughs> now you've got it. So, we make it appear as though we have ceased our invasion by returning to Garrick Mach. Then we divide up our soldiers and infiltrate nearby areas of the capital, right under the Empire's nose. Yes. That's a hundred percent what I was thinking. Amazing, Seteth. Finally, we gather all of those soldiers somewhere we can get to swiftly from Garrick Mach and proceed to invade Enbar. Is that what you are thinking? Are you serious? Sure. You know there's no guarantee that we won't be spotted by the enemy, right? If we fail to convene, we will be isolated inside the Empire and be utterly obliterated. I will be embracing the nearness of death if I am needing to. With each other. That sounds dangerous. Really incredibly dangerous. Make no mistake. If we fail in this plan, there will be no coming back from it. Are you sure about this, Professor? It's our only hope. I see. Probably. If you are resolved, then I will follow suit. We may be weaker, and the terrain may be against us. But all we can do is use our resources as best we can. That 
and pray for the blessings of the goddess. All right. So we're blitzing our way into the into the capital. Um, kind of has some little bit of Thracia vibes. It's just this tiny army with really no no resources, so to speak. Very small, could easily be wiped out. Uh, but you're just pushing forward. Thracia's far more dire. I mean, feels far more dire. I feel. Um. But yeah, I guess the next one is Enbar. Uh, I think, right? Enbar is the one where we fight Hubert, right? I think that's where we're heading next. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Short, sweet. Got the Death Knight. Oh, not down. He ran away. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there we have it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye.